Yo, 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 yo. We in this bitch. We in this bitch, man. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about it, man. Uh, but right now, you know, I don't trust these motherfuckers, man. I don't, I don't, I don't trust these motherfuckers no more, man. I, I, I don't trust these motherfuckers no more. No, I'm talking about. I don't trust these motherfuckers no more, man. No, we 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 don't trust you. We don't trust you. We still don't trust you. No, nope. I'm afraid not. We don't trust you. We don't trust you. Why should we trust you? Why should we? Then go ahead and get into the show, though. Y'all already know what time it is. Let's get it. What's up? What's happening? Welcome to the show. <clears throat> Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, man. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it, man. Y'all already know who it is. Y'all already know what it is. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. We check it in on the late night tip, man. As always, as always, late night tip, man. Hit the like button if you want. Well, I would like it if you hit the like button. Man, show me shit. What the hell? Thank you. What the hell going on here? Yeah, <clears throat> hit the like button, like and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Cash app down there at the bottom, along with all the stuff there. <clears throat> but what's up, man? We're finna get into it, man. We're finna get into it because I ran across something, man, that kind of disturbed my soul. You know, kind of, kind of disturbed me, kind of rubbed me wrong. You know, made me ask a question. How come motherfuckers feel like they goddamn disrespect us the most? Like really, how come why 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 is that? Motherfuckers come here from other countries or whatever. First thing first, they won't shit on Americans. Most of all. They want shit on black Americans. And they look just like the black Americans. Cosplay is black Americans. Talk like black Americans. Act like black Americans. Until they get up on their feet. Until they ride our coattails long enough. Then the true colors come out. And it ain't black American. But that's our fault. That's our fault. Too goddamn welcoming.
Welcome everybody in our shit. That look like us. Till we find out in the end, all skin folk and kin folk. All skin folk and kin folk. Rest in peace to OJ Simpson. But we all know the only real reason OJ really got off and stuff. One, because he ain't do it. And two, black Americans. Who wouldn't finna just sit for that? Who would finna sit? And thank God we finally had some had the goddamn people in the goddamn jury. You already know how they stack the decks against us, man. You see how, how, how they stack the guess stack the decks against so. Previously, I seen on SNL they had K- Caitlin Clark and them whole team on the on SNL, and they lost. As I, I, I won USC the uh, champions. USC was it? That's right. USC was the champions, were they? USC was the champions. Yes, they were. But you got Caitlin Clark and them team on the SNL and they lost. Oh boy, boy, some things is man. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just calling out the pure logic here. I mean, it's it's right out in the open, and they're not hiding it at all. And apparently, they're saying is, yeah, we're gonna praise the white girl, even though she lost twice last year and this year, and they did the same damn thing. I thought the winner was supposed to get praised. This when losers get praise. You don't get praise for losing. You lost. Try again. Win. Then get praise. Losers don't get praise. Since when? Never in history. Oh, until America. God damn it. Until God damn it. See, America got a habit of remembering losers. A big ass habit of remembering losers. Losers. That base Rocky after Chuck Wagner. Even though Muhammad Ali beat the shit out of him. But just because he stepped on his foot and pushed him. Got that knockdown. Y'all see. Y'all saw it. That's before y'all time, though. But to get on with the topic, though. At hands. This guy can this cast and that cat been kind of weird to me, been weird and suspicious to me the whole time. It's a weird ass dude, man. Hands down, this dude's a fucking weirdo. And I see why now. I I, I see. I mean. 
Once again, here's another one. Came in. Rolled the coattails of black Americans. Until the come up, until until the come up. Now, nah, here you go. Joining the ranks. Black American have no culture. My question is, why do these motherfuckers come over here and think they can do that? Knowing damn well, I can't go to their countries and do that shit. I'll go to Jamaica and piss on Jamaicans. I'll go to Africa and piss on Africans. I'll go to the, the, the Dominican Republic and piss on Dominicans. They'll have my head. But for some reason, these motherfuckers come over here entitled like a motherfucker. Not fearing no consequence whatsoever. As if, man, fuck them. They ain't going to do shit. Till they find out. And then when motherfuckers find out, it's too goddamn late by then. Then you're pleading. But this little cat. I'm going to play this clip. I'm going to play this clip. Right quick. And it kind of, well, ain't no kind of to it. it. It really deeply disturbed me. Deeply disturbed me, man, because... It's crazy. But yeah, this clip right here kind of rubbed me wrong. Oh, my mods, you are not cultured at all. Stop dick riding. I don't want to hear, like, when I'm asking general questions, I'm not asking y'all niggas. Stop dick riding. That niggas is, is black. You're black. You're, you're just black! Just be yourself and hit them with hey. Also, I just found the Anarchy hoodie yesterday. Can't wait finna resubscribe in a little W female viewer. Big two months, December 9th. Thank you so much! Bro, you're just fully American. You're African American, bro. That's it! How was that see you in 30? I thought, oh, that, that wasn't an insult. That was strictly, you're black. You're not Trinidadian. You're not Jamaican. You're not African. You're not... You're not... Word! You're not Ghanaian. You're not Dominican. You're not Puerto Rican. You're not Cuban. Hmm. Okay. Your point is? Because he explained that his mom is a, uh, he explains, he explains that his mom is Trinidadian and his dad is a uh, Haitian. No culture. But I ask y'all, I got to ask a question. I must ask this question. What culture is this? It's not Trinidadian culture. Damn sure not. Let's see. Nope. Looks black American to me, don't you think? Yep, black American. Let's see right here. Black American. How you look right here? Black American. How you look right here? Black American. 
Even take the shit off of it. T tattoos. Black American. But no culture. Black American. Look how you dress. Black American. Give me your hair. Black American. I mean, dude, I don't see you nowhere dressing Trinidad in. Nowhere. Hmm. Really me this. Now, for some people that don't have no culture, you know, they're so uncultured, you know, we're we're not we're not Jamaican, we're not Haitian, we're 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 we're, we're not none of that shit. We're we're black, pure black Americans. For some people with no culture, you so dressing like people that have no culture. Funny, ain't it? Hilarious. Hilarious. Let's see who we got in the building. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to my uh, brother. I be Wardy. What's up, brother? Shout out to uh, Hassan. It is what it is. TV. What's up, bro? Much yet. But the thing about it is, he went to Jamaica and got pushed back from the Jamaicans, talking about some he disrespected them. Then when the Jamaicans got on his ass, oh, man, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Where you at? Where you at? Them pander at and explain. Where is that? Where is that? Is this it? Let's see. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Let me see where it's at. Nah, this is why I said culture vulture. This is an example of culture vulture, guys. Prime example of culture vulture. Thing. That I was out there mocking Jamaica, bro. I'm not from Jamaica. Go make a tweet and everybody, and everybody, right? And everybody under it and shit was agreeing, was saying that what I was doing in Jamaica was not culture. Let me tell you, bro, you're talking. You're right. It probably wasn't because you as a person, you don't have, you, you, what is your culture, man? I mean, your, 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 your daddy got them in Haitian, your mama trained her daddy in. What, what the fuck is your culture? But continue. Talking to, okay, this is the people that don't know me. You're talking to a son of a, a, a son of a mother who's from Trinidad and Tobago, Pinal, the Caribbean. 
So, okay, my, it's not Jamaica. My pops is Haitian. Definitely not Jamaica. Okay, I grew up eating straight roti, um, rice and peas, China. But what the fuck that mean? Up shot curry goat. So what? Oxtail. I eat oxtail too. So what? And I'm Black American. So what you saying? Then I had a group of six people in my school who was straight Jamaican. Had the audacity to say that I was out there mocking Jamaica, bro. If they say you were mocking them, motherfucker, you mocking them. Just like I say, you mocking us. You want to goddamn get a goddamn... Oh, uh, uh, who the fuck do a podcast by the fucking jail? Have everybody pretend like they're in fucking jail. Who the fuck does that? See, I'm, 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 I'm proud. I'm see. This is where I get. I'm, I'm proud of my black Americans because we now got them. And we, we making ourselves known and establishing ourselves. Cause, like I said before, many of my black Americans are noticing this shit, and like I said. When it comes to the fucked up shit, only thing y'all can say is black, 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 black. But when it comes to awards and rewards, oh, that's when you're Nigerian. That's when you're Haitian. That's when you're Jamaican. That's when you're Caribbean. That's when you're this. That's when you're that. You're everything but black then. Just like this little shit. Roll black American coattail to the fucking top. But that's all right, though. Because we gatekeeping now. And a lot of motherfuckers ain't gonna like it, but we don't care because motherfuckers don't rap for us. Motherfuckers don't speak up for us. Everybody all devices. But then when we start establishing ourselves, all of a sudden it's wrong. You heard them earlier. You're black. You're black. That's it. You're just black. Yeah. And we the culture too. As a matter of fact, we the reasons why y'all are the dusty asses over here. Cause you think old Edgar Hoover and them all Lyndon B. Johnson them wanted y'all ass over here, man. You smoking dope. Y'all black asses are here because black Americans fought for your black asses to come here. Just for you to blend in and 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 and, and kick us in the ass in the end. How can we trust you? We don't trust you. You fled your own country. How can we trust you?
How? Not saying that goes for everybody, that goes for all, 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 all and everybody because it don't. But for the motherfuckers that always love the shit on black Americans, that love the shit on us for some damn reason, just love the shit on us recklessly, just don't care. The disrespect ends. We're getting tired of that, that shit coming to an end. And that's just it. So if we got to take back everything, so be it. Because if black Americans take back every goddamn thing, which is the whole culture, what would you have? Matter of fact, where would you be? You wouldn't be here reaping the benefits. Right now, coattail. Like I said, everybody want to be a nigga till the police come. crazy then when police come it's something different but I digress and I'm going to open up the panel because I would love I would love to hear y'all feedback on this. Love to hear your feedback on this. So I'm gonna put the uh I'm gonna put the uh link in the chat. I'm gonna go to a small intermission right quick. And then we're gonna open it up. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to open up. Excuse me.
talking this whole time, man. God damn. I ain't even turned my whole goddamn mic on. <laughs> I've been talking this whole damn time, bro. My bad. Key. Can y'all hear me now? Y'all give me a one. Give me a one. Y'all can hear me, man. Give me a one. Y'all can hear me. I've been talking the whole goddamn time and shit. Talking the whole damn time. Y'all can't hear nothing I said. But what up, Key? How you doing? What you doing up? You talking about some I'm up crackhead I was Look, check this out. I used to sell crack, but that's another story. Don't tell nobody. So old habits, you know, you just can't get rid of. What you doing up this time, man? You you what 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 a good quick good a good sweet wholesome Christian woman like yourself doing up this time night? Doing up this time now. You supposed to be in bed. Hi, son. I see you in the back. I can't sleep. Well, might as well come up and join the panel then. Might as well. Might as well. Might as well. You ain't doing shit else. No, I can't put what it up? here. Man. Yeah. There you go. What up with it? What up? What up, Hassan? What up? What up, Six? How you doing? Man, I'm up, man, chilling, man. Up here talking shit, bro. Cause uh, that damn, it's, it's I don't know, man. It's, like I can't go the mother, I can't go to other motherfuckers. I can't go to other countries and disrespect people. You know what I'm saying? I can't, yeah. I can't, and 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 nothing not happen to me and shit. You know, that's consequences to that shit. You know? Yeah. But for some reason, man, for some, why, why? I mean, why, why, do, why do motherfuckers feel like they can come over here and do that? Well, it could be multiple things. One, your country is not that innocent, right? I know you that. Your government, that's number one. Number two... When you tell people you have the right to say this and the right to do that and, and without any boundaries or without any red lines, <clears throat> the people from other countries that are disrespectful and they know they can't get away with that shit in their country, when they come over here and they see how everything is out of control, of course they're going to get disrespect without any consequences. So that's another thing right there to it. I mean, I get it. Some parts of America, some neighborhoods, if you get out of line, they deal with you. But for, for, for the but for the most part, is it's just like you can come here and say whatever, be disrespectful to anything, your elders. So literally, when you think about it, sick, there is no respect for nothing in here. For the most part, religion is getting disrespected. People getting disrespected, man, woman, children, elderly, everything, whatever you can think of, we cross that line. There's no like, there is no going back no more. Hmm. Put on that. Key Renee, what you say? Sis, why you didn't tell me you look like this? Look like what? I'm ugly? I'm sorry. Hey, this way God made me. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Damn. I didn't, didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> yeah, so that's why, Six. Mm. But still, though, man. It's... But, but again, you still have those people come with respect and honor and all that. I know. I know. It's, it's, I know. Mm. I know. Not saying every last one of them, not every last one of them like that, because I understand they're not. Yeah, yeah. Because, but, the ones, but for the ones that do, I mean, even for the ones that come over here, I mean, even for the ones that's cool with us, even they speak out, you know. So I, I get, I got, got to give some of them props, you know, because they come over and be like, they try to tell their people like, yo, you being disrespectful to these people, y'all have no idea how much these people suffer, what they've been through, and. You should be pretty much thankful to these people and stuff. No, I didn't no, say you... that. I, I I didn't say that. That's what that's what pretty much what the young lady was saying and stuff. 
wish I give props because she like she um she was telling I mean she was just telling the way it is like y'all have no idea how much the black Americans suffered here and what they went through and what they had to, you know but which people is she telling that to the Asians the, the her her people and which and that is oh it was some Haitians oh Haitians it was on TikTok. Okay. But yeah, like I said, there's some people going to respect and there's some people are not going to respect it. Like very, very disrespectful. Especially the ones that come from uh, uh, some Asia, Middle East, North Africa. And they know they can't be disrespectful there because they, they'll get smacked. So they get they come over here and they see and they see how and they see how everybody moves. I'll say, well, you know what? Fuck it. Let me be disrespectful. So it is what it is, you know. But what I'm saying is it's it's the thing about it is it's only online. That that, that we know of, that we know of. No, it's only online. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm telling you, in 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 in, in outside world, I mean really no. Okay, then it's online. It's like keep. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's not as verbal as it is online. Yeah, I say it I, like that. Okay, so it's like keyboard warriors. Like, like you know, they're online. They're saying bunch of shit, and they feel safe in their little bubble. So I get mm-hmm. it. because everybody's doing it when you think when you think about it. Who isn't? Everybody's getting out of uh, control. But I'm most, not. <laughs> I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you. I'm saying most people are doing it because think about it. In this internet stuff, you know how people threatening other people. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna do this. Maybe three, maybe three percent are actually about that life. The rest are just talk, 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 talk. And the ones who who are about that life and and actually gonna do something, they just sit back, look at these motherfuckers. Well, I'll dare you try me? Oh, they might do something to them if they catch them. Oh, they know where they live at. That's how I look at it. Three percent, maybe I'm being okay. Let's say five percent, five percent about that life in this internet stuff, and they will actually do something about it. And the red just talk, talk, and they continue talking, you know, because you, you know, and I know most of these people will have the shit they say. On the internet, they will not say it in real life, face to face. That'd be a whole different situation. Mm. But since we're on the internet and you're far away, I'm over here and he's over there. Fuck it, you know. So, so you gotta learn when you're on these lies. You gotta c- control your emotions and your anger. Anger. I'm not saying that to scare you or you should be terrified. Just control it, you know, because. You got to control because you're going to run to people going to be very fucking disrespectful and they will not hold back and they will cross every single line you can think of. Lately, in the last couple of weeks, we heard the dead being disrespected, people's mothers, people's kids, people, bunch of shit like what the fuck is going on here? So things are getting out of control, you know, and some people don't have no boundary. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Until they run across that one motherfucker that don't give a fuck more than you. <laughs> and then that's when they fuck up. Mm-hmm. And but like I they- said, it's 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 never it's it's never in it it got to where I say it like this. I don't, I don't in, in person. No, I don't deal with it too much. Stuff. Think, look, remember, I was telling you about the Brian. Brian I mean, far, far as me hearing it, I mean, far, far as the actions and shit, yeah. I okay. see it, but far as me yeah. hearing it, you know, far as they being verbal with it, no. <laughs> no, I get what you say, but remember, I was telling people about Brian O'Shea and warning them. Mm-hmm. I, was, I, was, I don't know if you know Chaotic, Chaotic Truth. He does his own show. And he has white people up there 
and they're racist as fuck. They throw a lot of shots. It became normal. Like if you watch his show and those white people, like fucking very disrespectful. Towards even my people. I'm looking at that like what the fuck? Yeah, but, but you got you, you you gotta look at the you gotta look at look at the logic here, you know. Yeah, is a bitch. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so, so you do know about him, okay? Yeah, I know about Kyle, and yeah, Kyle is a bitch, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Think if you're watching, you's a bitch, and I already know you're gonna say that's how black people talk, and I expect that from black people. I thought, yeah, I, yeah, expect that, and kiss my black ass on the way. So, yeah, you's a bitch. But continue. But yeah, yeah, like those couple white people, like, and I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? And that's why when Ashton say I, you got to stand on business on Brian O'Shea says I'm the one who brought it up to all these people. Yeah, I felt them on that now because uh, yeah, you, you, you do. Gotta, but, but, but here's the thing, though. Here's cause, the you thing. know, because uh, look, look at look at it like this with this with this cock cock sonnet shit going on. I didn't I didn't go to nobody. I didn't go to you. I didn't go to Frizz. I didn't go to Stan. I got up on my shit. I came up here and talked my damn shit about it. And went straight at that nigga. Just like I still am right now. Cause he a bitch for that. No, but here's the thing though. He and I did tell him I'm gonna go if I see him, I'm gonna go on the panel with him. But I'm thinking about it now. Right? Look no, at my I, I, ain't, I ain't going on no panel. I'm finna call you out. I'm tagging your name. I'm I'm doing all that shit. Who me? Oh Brian. I said that's what I'm doing. See, oh, okay, okay. don't 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 think just because I got my little small subs or my little small views. You think shit like this won't get to come across to get them attention? Oh no, no, yeah, no. Small no. shit won't come across to them. You shit. You'll be a lie. You'll be amazed. Oh yeah, yeah. But but what I what I'm trying to say is well was, just like I know this shit might come across chaotic if I tag a minute. Matter of fact, I might go back and tag a minute just so it can. Damn, you're going all out today, six. <laughs> Man, what bro, I'm, look, bro, look, 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 look. I ain't come here to bullshit with nobody. I'm here to bullshit with nobody, man. But but look like what I I try to explain is let's say I do go up on that. If I see him on the panel and go up, uh, Ashton, what do you left a comment to that host warning him about the white dude? And the host, Sharon, he ignored it, the whole thing. He didn't even, that's what Ashton was saying. Like, God damn, okay. And then me knowing the panel, if I go up there, I'm going to get crucified. Then it's not going to be about the white dude and telling him why he's being doing this fuckery. It's gonna be me and four other. How you figure you don't get crucified? Because it's, because the <coughs> three of the panelists, black people in that panel, are gonna turn on me now. Well, that means you, you gotta go up there and do your home. Yeah, first, first, first and foremost, you gotta do your homework, don't you? No, no, I done my homework and I seen that panel, and 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 when 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 that the white dude threw his little uh, <coughs> racist comment, they three of them backed him up. So now, if me and and let's say the three other black people are going, so the white dude is going to twist it now. Is he going to be brown against black, and he's going to get out of it and laugh at both of us? You see what I'm saying? No. That's why you need to <laughs> stick to the target. Yeah, yeah, but but I did my I we we talked about it on freeze. It was actually next level who brought it up, right? <laughs> And I said, what the fuck? And I, I went to his channel, and I brought it to your attention, Izzy, uh, Stanley, Ashton, World Class, and so on and so forth. So my part, when you think about it, it's been done. You, you do. Guys- okay. You do the show. We pop up. Ooh, but shit, we got your back. What you talking about? Okay, I pre uh, also do a show how he does it, and watch watch out for this guy. Yeah, yeah, do a whole goddamn show. 
Tag his name and that shit. Tag everybody who will feel that man. Shit, go all out with it. Shit, don't got that half step with it. I mean, hey, that, that's an idea. But I, I just got to do it the timing it so so people can come on, you know? I, I that's didn't like go I live. said, do your homework. All your homework. Don't have fast at it. No, no. I, I did I did my homework. I did watch him how he he's literally showing you how he does it live, you know what I'm saying? I mean, in the end, this is how it's gonna end. We're gonna see what we're gonna see, right? I mean, we're literally talking about it right now. Whoever comes on is gonna say, but it's not gonna change nothing. Like it is is because right now the, the most he's goes on is Sharon. Is Sharon gonna kick him out? Sharon, no. So, I mean, I get what you guys are saying. Do a show about it, but what is that gonna do? Like a lot of people know about it. Everybody's like, ah. Eh. Literally, that's the answers I'm getting. Okay. For the well, most you know part. why we had that because we sitting up here like, okay, what you gonna do? Oh me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well. I, I I did my part. I, Cause, I mean, you 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 bringing it up and stuff. And yeah, everything. Really I mean, we understand that and shit. But I mean, bro. I mean, you got swing, man. Huh? Swing first. As you 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 swing, we got your back, bro. You swing, we got your back. I I get what you're saying, but I'm literally gonna repeat everything I just said. Watch out for this guy. I'm gonna show his clips. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people saw his videos. So we're literally going you know, to just repeat ourselves. But to make you guys happy, I'll do a show. Hopefully tomorrow or something. Like a 30-minute and see whoever comes, comes. Uh, it's not about making us happy, bro. Far, far from that. But, but, but you see what I'm coming from, though, right? Mm-hmm. Because he's still gonna go to that show that he he got comfortable at. It's not gonna change a goddamn thing. So it's just like, uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And and when he went that day, he already had three, four people backing him. So that's already a cluster. <laughs> I'm not saying you. I'm saying when that day when we when next level brought this to our attention. <laughs> Just looking at it like okay, Ashton tried to say something. He and he complete and, and I know he saw the comment, and Ashton got ignored. Other people got ignored. So now, like now, it's like what the fuck. And and some people have been catching up. Like I've been watching the other people warning. Like hey, they yelled at him, but it's really not gonna do nothing it's not gonna stop him in a way you know mm -hmm. and the moment he finds chaotic uh channel he's gonna feel more at home there too now he has two channels to feel comfortable you can say you can say sharon like open the red carpet for him in a way now, now he's comfortable so you know Hmm. And then that's another part of it too. Man. <clears throat> oh no, man. I don't know, bro. All I know is I'm tired of these motherfuckers. Yeah, I get that. But the thing about it is, when the Jamaicans got on his ass about him being disrespectful, yeah. he won't go back and 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 and, and bet tracking and kiss ass and shit. What was yeah, he, <clears throat> yeah, he, 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 he,
Was he raised in a, in America though? Born and raised, or just raised? I don't know. Let me see. I'll be what to say, but I hear a little black nigga here. I, yeah, yeah, Island boy. He from uh, his dad, his daddy is a uh, Haitian, and his mama Trinidadian. I don't even know how the hell that got down work. I'm being real. I don't even know how that worked. I really don't. But it's just still fat talking about. I don't know why everybody like to say a black Americans don't have no culture. Yeah, well, I we literally all the goddamn culture, music, period. Like motherfuckers don't understand. Maybe the South looks at it different than the people in the East and West Coast and Midwest. The South is where the music came from, bro. Exactly, because first known music, pretty much known music is <clears throat> blues. Which come from Mississippi, which migrated to Detroit and all over and shit. Which blues also, right beside blues, was jazz in Louisiana, which that same thing went up to New York. Travel made his way to New York and shit. So pretty much, <laughs> I mean, think about it, rhythm and blues, even hip hop. But let motherfuckers tell it, um, <laughs> nothing came from Mississippi, but the whole motherfucker, <laughs> everything came, the whole shebang. Because it wasn't blues, it was called Delta Blues. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yes. Look it up. It's in your history. That's what motherfuckers are. But that's why I hate when motherfuckers like the downtown Mississippi. I'd be like, do you know what you can <laughs> Is it been got a uh, motherfucker? Where you think everything came from? Muddy waters. I can go. I can. I can. I can name a whole list and shit. Because six. Think about it. When people think of Mississippi, they think of all oh, white. They don't, they, it's like they don't know. It's like they forgot about blues and shit. No, 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 but yeah, I get you. But when they, when people think about Mississippi, oh, most white people and KKK, and that's it. Oh, the other shit don't even matter no more. Nah, man, you 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 can't you can't you can't you can't dare a motherfucker to goddamn it <clears throat> do that shit straight up. Motherfucker, Mississippi ain't like you think. May I remind you, motherfucker, Mississippi is like 89% black. Damn. So, no, I doubt motherfuckers want to try that shit. Jackson is 95% black itself. Jackson, Mississippi? Oh yeah, what is the capital of Mississippi anyway? Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yep. So that's why I can't <laughs> side eye motherfuckers when they say shit like that. And well, that's how I also that's how I also know. 
motherfuckers ain't on their history as they claim they claim these about music. You know how motherfuckers got them get on their damn panels. I know everything about music, hip hop, whoop the whoop. Okay, then motherfucker, why you don't know where the fuck it all derived from? <laughs> well, six, it could be one of two things. One, they don't know their history. Two, they know their oh, history. I know damn but... well they don't know their history. Or two, they know their history, but they don't give a fuck. They don't want to give Mississippi any credit. Oh, that that too. I already been though. They don't want to give Mississippi their credit neither. That's always been it. That's all. That's that's. Look. <laughs> Motherfuckers don't even know. Where you think Rick Ross from? Florida. Hmm. Rick Florida. Ross is from Clarksdale, Mississippi. Did you know really? that? No, I didn't know that. I always thought either he, Florida or California. Mm -mm. But because most of his music videos is in Florida, Miami. I know, but you know, that man, that dude is from Clarksdale, Mississippi. Damn. Ray Schrummer. Them boys from Mississippi. Yeah, them boys from Ear Drummer. Yeah, them boys from Mississippi. You think Red Cross is ashamed to be from Mississippi? Huh? You think he's ashamed to be from Mississippi? No. They all say they're from Mississippi. They all said it. Motherfuckers just out there don't pay no attention. Even Soldier Boy, he from Mississippi. <laughs> Soldier oh. Boy, Mississippi. Let's see who else. Morgan Freeman. Damn. Uh Brandy, Ray J, Snoop Dogg, Nate, Nate Dogg. Whoa, 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 whoa. Snoop Dogg. Uh-huh. No, he's West Coast. He's California. I know. What the hell? Now that I did not know. That's shocking up there. Snoop Dogg from Mississippi. Nate Dogg was born. Uh, Snoop lit. No, nah, I think Snoop was born in uh, Cali. No, Snoop was kind of back and forth. Nate Dogg was born in Mississippi. Yeah. Nate Dogg born in Mississippi. Nate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's how that was a connect with Mississippi and uh California with them and shit. So that's how Snoop was kind of back was known to Mississippi also. Also that, Ray J, Brandy. The, that's a lot of stars you just named and talented ones for the most part. Damn. Yes, now Nate Dog from motherfucking Mississippi. Nate Dog, <clears throat> born. Ray J. Ray J. Brandy. Uh, who else? Because when you tell people this, the only realistic one is is uh Morgan Freeman Morgan or uh, Nate Dog. The, the rest, everybody's going to look at you crazy. Like, wait, what? He's, you know? Because when they think of Rick Ross, they think of Florida. When they think of Ray J and Brandy, they think of California. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I know. It's weird like that. Weird as hell. What? Do your research. <laughs> Born in Mississippi. But but even if people do their research, some will give you the credit and some will, will still argue. They still with won't give out credit. Yeah. <laughs> 
They still won't give credit because every time I see that's not where it grew up. But I thought, you know, <clears throat> where, where you're born, you know, is it, it's your soul. That's where you came in at. Oh, of course. What up to my brother uh, Dan George in the building? Dan said, uh, don't forget about that. Of course, David Banner. David Banner, Big Crit. Oh, I go name a whole lot of that. Big Sun. Uh, shit. Who else, motherfucking uh Man, I'll go down a whole damn list. Oh, Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> damn. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more, but. Yeah, Britney Spears. Uh, If you want to go, want me to go down that alley. <laughs> what's that? Uh, what's that? The part, party next door, people? Yeah, A from Mississippi. Salute, salute, uh, Dan. What about David Banner? Oh, I named David Banner. Oh, but, but here's the argument, Sticks. You know how you said a lot of music came from Miss Mississippi? Mm -hmm. What if you say you're wrong? It's Tennessee. Nope. It traveled to Tennessee. You forgot Tennessee and the Delta like right back back door of each other and even and the crazy thing is it got known in memphis it was first published in memphis it was first published in memphis but this is the thing the dude not even from memphis or mississippi he from alabama he lived in mississippi and picked up on the blues and shit then traveled to goddamn uh Memphis. I forgot his name, but I know who you I know what you're talking about and who you talking about, but now nah. he's yeah. first published. Memphis. Because because think about it, they call Memphis the music city or whatever. It, uh, they, uh, they, yeah. They they have like a strip, like it looks like Vegas, but with all guitars and country and jazz and the blue and all. Mm -hmm. Does Mississippi or Jackson have similar stuff like that or no? Uh, certain spots, certain places and shit, yeah. Jackson, yeah. Biloxi, Gulfport, Grenada. So, so what you're saying is literally they stole from ten, uh, Mississippi, but the Mississippi never got the credit. Maybe stole is not the right word. Maybe I just said it, it, it migrated. Yeah, yeah. But Mississippi, a lot, of, a lot, because a lot, a lot of people from Mississippi travel migrated. A lot of people from Mississippi migrated Midwest. She majority majority travel Midwest and she some travel to the west, some travel up to New York. No. Yep. So that's how that went. Shout out to Mrs. So along, so you know how shit. When you travel, culture travel with you. You know, yeah, you, you, you just got to remind people hey, you got to give us some credit, <laughs> you got to recognize it. Yeah, but they uh, all that when, when you do that, they be like, That's so long ago, and she, I'll be like, oh, Here we go. 
Yeah, you're yeah. right on that too. So long ago, like that. What what does it matter and shit like that? I've been like, man. God damn. So I pretty much, man, just mm -hmm. don't wear with it too much. Man, shit. The motherfucker gonna think what that thing regardless, you know. Yeah. yeah. Even 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 if you came with them with that proof and how you just told me all this stuff from Mississippi, it would still argue with you. I it mean, I, li li literally all this stuff you can do research and go Google. I mean, this none of this stuff I'm saying is bullshit at all. I mean, I'm real no, shit. No, I no, I get what you're saying. It's easy. I know, I know you understand the stuff. I know you get what I'm saying. But even, even, even though I'm motherfucker, just I don't know, man. I don't know, man. It's just motherfucker, just ignorant. <clears throat> Probably yeah. just tell them you're from uh, California or New York or maybe Florida. Then they might believe you. Just don't say you're from Mississippi. <laughs> uh oh, let me see what Dan Joy said. <clears throat> see, old school house music, retro dance, swing music came from the South. Rock came from the view. Rock came from the blues. Exactly. Because along with uh, along with blues, there were country music. We was already singing country music, of course. That's another thing. That's another thing, huh, son? We were already singing country music. You forgot mm -hmm. to add jazz. Did jazz come from Mississippi? Jazz came from uh, Louisiana. So uh, you're right then. So the South is the music capital of, of America, not California, not New York. I mean, bro, let me type up something right quick. You found it? What's that? You say you're going to search your music or something? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on.
Damn, I forgot about Afro, man. <laughs> I forgot about Afro man. Oh, uh, sick! Did, did you hear about this crazy story? You ready for it? Oh no! Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Not right now. Give me a minute. I'm trying to look up something. Even though there's some bullshit. <clears throat> because they forgot to put muddy waters and shit up there. But Oh, yeah, Elvis, too. You forgot about Elvis. You know what I mean? That's it. Over a hundred years. Yeah, man. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure that there's even more people you know, when I you're not even thinking about for the moment. The list is pretty, pretty long. That's my thing, man. I I, I don't understand is And I always say, it. I, I I don't care, I, I I don't care. I always say, it, man, most biggest motherfucker hates got down East Coast. Them niggas are the biggest motherfucker haters. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Them niggas are the biggest haters, bro. For some reason. Wait, n n not the West Coast? So the West Coast are better? No, West Coast. At the, actually, man, the West Coast is actually cool. You know? I ain't really no beef with the West and the South for shit, you know? Because, okay. you know, we, we, we understood. I mean, it's, you know, it's mutual respect and shit. No, we, we it's... We we get along with the down West more than anything. More we get along with the West and West and Midwest. Damn. Okay, well what about the Southwest? Like I said, it's me. There it ain't no Southwest, it's only the South. Yeah. Well like like it's only the South, it's only the West. The east and the south and the midwest. Yeah, but when when I say southwest, I mean like Arizona, New Mexico. That's west. That's considered west. Everything on the other side of Texas and considered west. Okay. So according to six, the east coast the so what do you think it is about the, the they're very rude, disrespectful? Like what? Like, no, man, just that their energy yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All that shit. Damn. Oh, that shit. I mean, I'm I'm gonna let you know what kind of. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know what kicked it off. As a matter of fact, hold on, give me a second. Give me one second, brother. Give me one second. I got you. But I'm gonna show you what kicked it off. And these not my words. Not my words at all. Let me see which one. No, but uh, let's see where it's at. <clears throat> let me pull it up real quick. Come on, man. Well, while you're looking it up, I'll be right back. All right, cool. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> Big bro. My damn brother sleep on the goddamn couch and shit. Drunk as hell. Goddamn dogs. Nigga calling the dogs like a motherfucker. Hey, what you think about the latest hip hop now? What's the word? We bought the EP. Hey, son. Hi, son. I'm back. I'm back. My bad. All right, man. But yeah, I'm going to let Pimp C get them explain it to you right quick. Rest peace, Pimp C. Rest peace, Pimp C, y'all. Hey, what you think about the state of hip hop now? I don't give a fuck about hip hop because I ain't never made none of that shit. The <laughs> niggas been stuff. saying we wasn't real hip hop from the beginning of time. Yeah. They said we wasn't real hip hop because we don't have no trains and no backpack. One leg our pants ain't rolled up to our knee and shit. You know what I'm talking about? So, you know, after a motherfucker tell you something for so long and let you know they don't want you, you know what I'm saying? After a while, nigga don't want to be down to bitch ass niggas no more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we got our own shit down here. A long time ago, we had our own music. The street military was putting it down, you know what I'm talking about? And when, when, when Willie D and them was coming out and talking country and letting their nuts hang, you know, that's when I grabbed on to something that was special. And I ain't never looked back on them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Cause if it wasn't for us, them niggas wouldn't have been able to take no fresh fest tour. They wouldn't have been selling all them goddamn records they sold in the 80s if it wasn't for the South and the Midwest. You motherfucking niggas didn't sell all them records in New York. I know you didn't. And you niggas wouldn't have been able to take no tour if it wasn't for the rest of the country. But you know, niggas tried to shit on us, man. You know, you need to go down south, you need to shut your mouth. You know, somebody shit like that. 
know what I'm saying? Nigga, y'all ain't real hip hop down there. Bitch, that nigga, wait, guess what? We ain't real hip hop down here, nigga. Nigga, stay up there where you at. Your funny ass cars and your funny ass houses, nigga. You down here having things, nigga. Cost of living good down here in Texas. Nigga, I've been driving Cadillac since I was 15 years old, bitch. Put your mind on your shit. You know what I'm talking about? For real. And I ain't mad at nobody because you know what? The real rappers on the East that getting money ain't hate. I just did a song with Big Daddy Kane and Cool G Rap. It's going to be on the new UGK album. But what I'm saying is I don't hear the diff said niggas crying about none of that shit. I don't hear Jay-Z crying. You know what? But you know now, but you know who crying? No, them bitch ass niggas that can't sell no records, man. They crying because they can't sell no records right now because Mike Jones got 15 cars, man, and 22 carat diamond in his ring, man. Get your mind on your shit. You can have some too. You gotta come down here and buy you some, bitch. I'm talking about straight business, man. I know they don't like me. They be all on the internet talking about the pimp. Pimp rap like he's writing nursery rhymes. Pimp this and pimp that. You know what though, bitch? Say you put your real motherfucking address and your phone number on that shit, you ain't saying nothing, nigga. Hide behind them email it good. You a hoe. You know what I'm talking about? I'm in New York every other week. On the slab. I'm in Brooklyn, the Bronx, Manhattan. You know what I'm talking about? I'm all the way up and all the way around that motherfucker. You nigga friendly as a box of fucks. You know what I'm talking about? Get up off the bullshit, man. But when you come down here, niggas treat y'all with respect, man. Come down here, try to run through a nigga holes and shit. Try to disrespect a nigga down here, man. I'm telling you, man. Come on down with that bullshit, man. Nigga gonna get that jury out you. I'm telling you, man. Straight business. We ain't start shit. I'm finna go to something else that started off. Do you think that they will ever give Mississippi any credit? Even a little bit or no? Yeah, here you go, right here. Hold on. And the winner is, ladies, help me out. Outcast. Good mom. say what's up to all the original MCs out there. That ain't the one. Hold on. Let me find the one with the music at the background and shit.
I can't find that goddamn shit. They won't let me find that motherfucker, man. Damn. Probably did they removed it. Let me look. Let me look. Fair use, fair use, fair use, god damn it. Let me see. Boost this shit up. When they say it out there, it's just. Mm. How you gonna get booed and you just won Best New Artist? It was backlash from. The East Coast, West Coast thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty brutal to just be in a room full of people that's, that don't even really, really care about what you do. So what's up, Dre? Pressure can either bust pipes or create a diamond. And what Andre said when he got on that microphone created a diamond. But it's like this, though. I'm tired of folks, you know what I'm saying? The closed-minded folks, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got a demo tape and don't nobody want to hear it, but it's like this, the South got something to say. That's all I got to say. Everybody was like this on their seats, like, damn. For me, it was a rap. For me, it might as well have been the national anthem. The South got something to say. See, Andre, big boy, dudes who were from right here, our area, man, South Side, East Point. And get up there, man, and say the South, South got, got something, something to say. say. Man, it turned to, it turned to everybody up. And it finally gave clear cut and incision. Like I said, bro, we ain't start shit. We might not our business. Kind of do our own goddamn thing and shit, man. You know, and for some reason, motherfuckers always hate it. Dan George said, uh, Mississippi got tons of talent, more than what it used to be. Big credit for Mississippi and the South nowadays. Man, for some reason, when it comes to us, it's mumble rap and all this whatnots and shit. But but when you think about it, six even back then, the South, the West, the East, every rapper music had like their own style. It has their own unique. Yeah, but style. we ain't hated on nobody though. Yeah, but but I understand that. But when you think about music now, it's kind of like it all sounds the same, gibberish. Maybe one. Maybe one, two good songs out of the whole year. That's how I I see it. Maybe it's different for you, but it's not the same, though. Yeah, very different for me, bro. Very different. Very, very different. Or maybe, I mean, maybe or maybe this like what I listen. This like man, it's like. Every 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 area got this garbage ass rappers. I'm just saying. For some reason, East Coast garbage ass rappers get more praises than anything. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Do you think because that they have New York and New York is worldwide known? You said what? Because they have New York City.
don't know. I don't know. Don't make me lie to you. New York City. All I know is motherfucker always had a goddamn problem. I mean, like it's kind of like uh old boy said, we motherfuckers always hate hate. I mean, motherfuckers always talked about how we talked and shit. All right, let me ask you a question. Can you tell the difference between a guy from the West Coast, East Coast, and Midwest? Immediately. Right away? Okay. Immediately. And 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 what by they by, by 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 the way they talking shit, cause uh pretty much Midwest they gonna sound like me right now. Cause pretty much people from the Midwest are front of the guy people from the South. Like I said, all black people in the Midwest, I mean in the Midwest, Chicago, Detroit area, all came from the South. How you think so? Why you think they sound so damn country around uh St. Louis and shit and Chicago? Okay. They don't talk all proper and shit. And they don't pronounce all their words clearly. Just like us. They have like a little slur. You you really like, like a little. Not the slur, but it's just our accent, man. It's just the way we talk. Just the way we talk and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, uh, I got you. Versus the East Coast and the West Coast. Now, both of them, both of them, like, pronounce their words different. I mean, they pronounce their words, yeah, different, pretty much. It's like. The West Coast is heavy on the R. And shit. You know, R, R sound like an A. Mm. Like versus yeah. the South, we we'll, we we'll, we we'll, we we'll say flow, and they'll say floor. <laughs> like they're heavy on our floor, or here. Over there, you know, they very, very heavy on our and stuff. All right, uh, so six. So, why do you think the East Coast has the most hate for the South? The what? The East Coast. Why they got they the what? The most hate for the South, more than the West. Because we were drawn, we were drawn in the beef between the east and the west, and shit. It was already animosity. It was already hidden animosity and shit. Motherfuckers ain't, you know, like PMC said, man. Motherfuckers ain't want to call that shit hip hip hop and shit, you know. So, it always been like that, but. That kind of put the fire to the flame right there. Or put the fire to the gas. Do you, do you think now things are cooled down or no? Nope. <laughs> Mm-mm. It cooled down, but, you know, you still got your old head-ass niggas that be still on that shit. Um, you got yeah. your old head ass nigga still be on that shit, man. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah. You just gotta make the best out of it. That's all you can do. Mm. I don't know, man. <laughs> but I do know one thing. All this disrespectful ass shit gonna come to an end, though, man. All this disrespectful shit gonna come to an end, cause I'm telling you, man, it's 
It's not gonna be pretty, man. That's what I'm be telling people. Like, man, look, y'all need to chill out, bro, because y'all gonna. All right. But but here's here's the problem, six. A lot of people, they got the only way to learn. They gotta learn the hard way. It's sad to say, but that's the facts. Oh yeah, they learn it the hard way because ever since we started distancing itself, it's been a whole big damn difference. Now all of a sudden we being divisive. Now all of a sudden we got them not now all of a sudden we being mean. Now all of a sudden we cause a lot of events that went down and shit that if black Americans got involved, it would have been a whole ruckus. But it's a simple fact that it wasn't no black American. We started doing our research and seeing that if it were no black Americans, oh okay. We finna sit back and sit watch back and see what y'all do. Cause y'all won't disrespect us so much. And then we start doing that. Then people looking at us like we wrong. Like no offense, not like no offense. Just like this uh Pakistan Israeli deal. Black folks were not getting involved, but yet and still we were getting fussed at. For not getting involved, for not saying nothing, for not, you know, we can be first step for not even saying nothing, for keeping it just, you know. Oh, I know, trust me. I mean, we, I mean, not to say what I mean. We, we trying to get, I mean, we trying to get them, we, we trying to get our shit straight. It's like nobody want to pay attention to us when we no, nobody help us when we're trying to get our shit straight, man. So that's all we're trying to do, man. We're just concentrate and just get our shit straight. That's it. Everybody getting theirs. Everybody straight. Everybody got their reparations. Everybody got their, you know. Oh, yeah. You're talking about the African Americans, right? No, not the African Americans, the descendants of slaves. Okay. We don't like that term. So you trying to say like you try to gonna get like the Native Americans how they get money every month or whatever, or check or something. Heads down, bro. Nobody got treated the way we got treated on these lands, bro. No, but yet and still. But yet and still no, the people, I know. The, 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 it's it's like when it comes to the black people, it's like they want to throw dirt over it, like it don't exist, like it never existed, and shit. Yeah, I noticed that too. I we had the conversation on Freezy Channel. It, it looks like like the black in, in America, the only race been told. Forget about it and move on, type of thing. Because when you go to other cultures and other race and other countries, no, there is no forget about it and move the fuck on. They teach you about it, and and they let you know, hey, these people did this to us. Listen, I mean, we're not gonna start a war right now, but but remember who they are, and never forget it. Like the Chinese, look at the Chinese. They always got to remind the Japanese, you motherfuckers did this and this and this to us back in the day. That tribe says, hey, you did this and this to us. We did not forget that shit. Doesn't mean we go and start blowing each other's heads up, but we keep, you know, generation to generation, like, remind, he ain't going to fool us, but, you know. Yeah, man, but. It's it's my my thing is if this land was built on white supremacy, why would you not think it exists? Why it doesn't think of what again? I said my 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 thing is not not you not you in particular not not you not talking to you but just to people in my thing is if this whole land was built on white supremacy, why would you not think it exists? Well, it depends on the person you're talking with. Some people like to lie to themselves. Like, no, because why, though? Because they got a career. They got a big, high 
paying job. They don't want to fuck that up. And they, they don't want to get into all that mess. So they play stupid and pretend like it doesn't exist and move on. Yeah, but I mean, this this is this is history. This is the history. This is the history of this land. This is the, I mean, not listen to me, Hassan. This is the history. Not make believe, not made up. This is actual history. You can go back and find actual facts, actual pictures, actual people. That actually, I think you find actually, you can find people. I get you. I get you. It's part of no. American history and world. Even even Germany talks about the Nazis and the Holocaust and all that. But again, is the way how Americans grow grow up. Do they talk about the American slaves though? Probably in in other countries. Yeah, it's part of the history. Africa, Asia. You'd be surprised. I don't think they do. It's part of world history. I know, but I don't think I don't think they do because the way people come here, I don't think they do. Or, or maybe there's they talk about it, but it depends on the like again, depends on the person. The I think yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think they get. The, I don't. I don't think they get the true history. And some I, don't think people, people, I don't think the people outside of America get the true history of Black Americans here. Here, I really don't think they do. I think they no. get the water. I think they get the watered down version or some other goddamn version, but. Real true history? No, they don't get it. Yeah, wow. I think if they really did and shit, man, they they they'll be goddamn, they, you know, shit, something. Yeah. I mean, other I than guess. just sit, just sit back. I mean, you, you you know what's going on, but you do nothing. But when some go on your country, you want us to jump. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying, though. But at the I mean, only time, people, only people, only people that called USA out for this shit was China. Believe well, it or not, China was a China called China. I say China was the one that called USA out for this shit. Yeah, that was the first, honestly. Because the U.S. tried to get them to China about something, how they doing shit over there or whatever. But it was, I, damn, I can't find that damn clip. That was a clip. But that damn uh, ambassador of China was sitting there talking to you and like, how you, you can't, how you going to sit there and talk about us? When you sit there, you ain't right your wrongs for all the things you did to the black Americans. And still now, you still doing your black Americans wrong. He was like, we see, he was like, we see it. We see everything that's being done. It's like it's not like we don't see it. We see everything being done. So who are you to tell us? Yeah, yeah. No, you'd be surprised other countries have, but they never reported it. But the point I'm trying to make is in America, even though like you said, it's part of the history, then everybody should know about it, like the real, real history. Now forget the white man. We know his agenda. We know his game. Whatever. Oh, you notice I ain't bringing. I ain't even bring him up. No, no, I'm bringing. <laughs> you him notice up. I ain't bring him up. No, no, I brought it up. But what I'm saying is, even with your own community, your own people, six, forget about it, move on. Even if you're trying to tell them, well, it's part of the history. We got to know. There's, there's still racist motherfuckers to still exist. The KK, they don't want to hear it. And and the other side, the moment they hear that, that's when they see an opportunity. Okay, and they keep because again, those people trying to tell you forget and move on, they trying to please them, the white people, on the on the on the top. And then then that's the major problem, but. It is what it is, you know. It sucks. It has to be like that. But that. Yeah, I already know there's some. Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. There, there's some that tell us that some of our own that be like, you know, we need to forget about it, you know, let it go and shit. Woot, woot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about them. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, yeah. 
I'm not I'm not saying you go and beat up white people. What I'm saying is no, I ain't saying nothing like that neither. But what I'm saying is majority of them guys like that, they got like white wives, you know, kind of like chaotic. <laughs> some shit, you know. And chaotic don't even got no white wife. Right, that's one thing about it. Yeah. Oh, that, that dude don't even got no white wife. But I did notice though. I I did notice the whole. My thing is, you're American, right? Yeah. And you are uh, black American, mm-hmm. and you're married to a white American woman, but you got a podcast that you only talk about the fucked up shit. That goes on in black in the black that goes on with black Americans. You don't talk about the fucked up shit that goes on with white Americans. It's kind of hypocritical to me. No, I get what you're saying. Or you 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 you're a black man that got a podcast and shit. You talk shit about the goddamn black community and shit. And you married to a Latino woman, but you don't say shit about the goddamn fuck fucked up shit but that's going on in their community. I get what you're saying, Six. But again, the big picture, the big picture is I got a business, I got a podcast, I got to please some certain people. They don't look like me, they don't look like you. As long as they're happy, I'm making money, I don't give a fuck. That's yeah, I know I that. I know this. I know this. I know that, but a couple, those are with a lot of them. I know there was a couple of them. Actually, I know there was a couple of them for sure. Oh, yeah, there, there's a lot of them, but it's just a sad truth. And the moment, let's say that one person switch and start matching white people, Hispanics, and Latino, whatever, well, especially if they start matching the white stuff, they're going to turn on them. Either they're going to fire them, fucking cut their pay they can do something to them it's like a bitch slap like somebody bitch slapped them hey don't don't ever talk about this either they learn their lesson and continue focus on the black stuff or they're going to continue mentioning the white stuff and risk it all and get fired or whatever so it really depends on if they have change of heart wait this is fucked up i'm supposed to Report the news, but not just on my people. I got to report on them and them and them. And some people take that risk, but they get fired in the end. So that they got to like, I remember this one one dude. He was working for MSNBC. They fired his ass. So he had to go to Al Jazeera, like a different country, to work at the news. And so, and what he started doing is reporting on everybody. Latinos, black and white, you don't have to worry about getting fired and stuff. Because you got to play a game. It's a game. You got to play by their rules. If you don't, you're gone. Unless you don't give a fuck, and then that, that oh, well, that's good for you. It really depends on the person if they care or not. Yeah. Yeah, man. And me and you know better. Money speaks louder than words. When, once they see that paycheck, sorry, people, my people, I'm getting paid over here. For the most part, for the majority of people. You're going to have those minority. Now, nah, fuck that. I'd rather stick to my people, be honest, and be truth, and all that stuff. But that's few, especially these days. Yeah, but my thing is, what, what, why? It's like it's it's alright for it's alright for every community to stick up for themselves, but when it comes to us, it's a problem or some of that matter. Instead, man, yeah. matter of fact, bro, 
I mean, th I mean, six. Look at it like this. It says we're being honest. Most of YouTubers, black YouTubers, they mock other black people. Your leaders don't even listen, and they're like, "Well, we guys call them traitors, right?" It's kind of true though. And the ones who stick with you guys and be honest, they get deleted. You see what I'm saying? Six. Oh yeah, man. Uh hold on. Give me give me one second. Hold on. We back in this thing, man. We back in this thing. Back in it. Back in it. Back in it. Oh, you're good now. Yeah. Back in it, man. We're gonna see who see who hit the cash out. Did we get any cash out tonight? Did we get any cash out tonight? Let's see. Who hit the cash out tonight? Let's see. All right, shout out to Stand the Man. Stand the Man hit the cash out, man. Shout out to Stanley. Let me get my little happy joy, joy. My happy joy, joy. Where's my happy joy, joy? Where's my happy joy, joy? Yeah, shout out to Stanley in the cash out. Shout out to Stanley, the man. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. Yeah. Appreciate that. Let me see who else. Salute to Stanley. Oh, shit. Shout out to... Tia for him to cash up also. Oh shit. Shout out to uh Tia. I don't know who Tia is. Tia. Oh, that's my side chick. She must be watching. She hit my cash in. Ah, shout out to my side chick. She hit my cash out. Let me get a little Hit me good too. That's what I'm talking about. Shit. Tip me good, baby. Tip me, tip me good. Happy, happy, joy, joy. 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 Happy, happy, joy, joy, joy. 
the what I'm talking about. Let's see who has hit the cash out, who has hit the gas. Well, that's it. That's where I hit the cash out today. Happy, well, happy JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> it gets in your head, I know. But damn, I tell you, yeah, man, y'all, y'all hit the cash out, man. Hit the cash out, hit the like button. Let me see. Who, oh, Dan George, is that Danny George? Dan George come through again. Oh, no, the Dan George came through on the cash out. Oh, Dan George come through. You know, you gotta get the big happy joy. Happy, happy joy, joy, 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 happy, 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 <laughs> happy happy joy joy yo man i don't care what you say i i can't get rid of that i, I thought about getting rid of it, i was like you know what why no no don't get it it's different you know different than other people yeah i know and plus everybody love ren steppy god damn it i miss that shit they need to remake that shit well not remake it but i don't know they need to do something i miss that shit they used to be my favorite cartoon and shit they used to be my, if y'all can't tell or not that used to be my favorite cartoon you got six people watching hit the lights yeah, let's get the light button. Hit the light button, people. Please, now. Nah. Don't make me scream. <laughs> oh, I might be like a fool. Come on, now, y'all. Yeah. Hit the light button. Hit the light button. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Don't make me go cry in the car. Please don't make me go cry in the car. Don't. Cry in the car. Come on, man. Don't make me cry in the car now. Come on. Y'all, y'all hit the cash out. Thank you. Y'all appreciate it. Appreciate it. Y'all hit the like button, man. Can I get my trying to create create my own little act? Well, I'm far out, out of the algorithm. I already know that. Far away from it. I need to find a way to keep up with it. It's kind of frustrating too. I don't know, man. Fucking algorithm about them been. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. What that algorithm been like, man? That's why I've written, man, pretty much, you know. I know, I can't be bothered with that. I have no time for that sort of nonsense. No, I can't be bothered with that. I can't be bothered with that. You know, I don't got time for that type of nonsense. You sitting up there looking like you. No. No, no, no. I refuse. Looking all crazy and shit. More crazy than I'm looking right now. I'm tired of hell. I ain't gonna lie. I am tired of shit. I thought, uh, who else to come up here? I thought what's name come up here, but I guess not. I guess not. It's all good, though. It's all good. I appreciate everybody in the building, man. I appreciate everybody in the building. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, man. Could have been anywhere, man, especially this damn time of night. I know half of y'all don't want to sleep. Who's still in the building? Let me see who's still in there. We got Brett Rodgers still in the building. We got Dan George still in the building. I'm quite sure I'll be Ward is still in here some damn where. Is Key Renee still here? No, I know Key Renee got down when I asked to got down sleep and shit. I probably don't bored I asked sleep. Let me see. Who else still in here? Who else we still have in here? Oh, yeah, we got Ross Will in here. Still got Dan George in here. 
Oh yeah, we kicking it. Yeah, I mean, you you did a good two hour show so far. Man, shit, I didn't mean to go do that damn far. Two hour show. Man, shit. <laughs> I ain't mean to do that shit. I ain't mean to do that shit because I'm goddamn it. Out of gas. I'm run, running on me. As I speak. Yeah. It has begun. It has begun. But. To get to the final word of the whole shebang, no. Yeah, my my final words is it is what it is. Not you're not gonna convince everybody. I know you're getting tired of the, the, the disrespect, but some people are willing to listen and back you up and do what what they got to do, and some people gonna lie to your face and then backstab you and then. I'm not gonna do what they're supposed to do. So we just gotta face reality, you know. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming through, Hassan. I appreciate you, brother. Good being aware. But came through here, man. Appreciate everybody, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you for having me on. And six till next time. Salute. Salute, brother. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get my final word in. Y'all already know what time it is. Go ahead and get that final word in. When hope is gone, undo this lock and send me forth on a moonlit walk. Release restraint level zero. Okay, to this goddamn little black pink lip ass bastard, one of goddamn disrespect black Americans. Remember this, punk. You won't be where you is. You won't be where you is if it weren't for us. You wouldn't have what you have if it weren't for us. Cause last time, last time I checked, you look like us. You dress like us. You talk like us. You walk like us. Jewelry like us. Tattoos like us. Dress like us. Twist like us. Cap like us. That like us. However, though, you still got that tether weirdness about your goddamn self. So, cocking that, chill out, man. Don't make me get on your motherfucking ass, boy. Don't make me get on your motherfucking ass. Like, for real. God damn, you cutting up, boy. I got my brother on goddamn cops, man. That motherfucker got them drug shit. Yo. Yo, yo. But like I said, y'all, I think you're ready to uh, shut it down, down. Shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Everybody that came through, you could have been in the world, but hey, you right here. You right here with the man, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Like I said, like and subscribe. Feel free to hit the like, uh, cash out. Also, yeah, y'all. Uh, I don't know if some of y'all probably gonna lay down the shit. So go ahead, lay down, man. Like this motherfucker behind me, a person on his ass off and shit. Anyway, y'all, y'all already know how I do it, man. Go ahead and get up out this thing, get up out this thing, get up out this thing. So, where are they? Yep, it's my execute. Yep, it's my execute. No, that ain't my execute. Yeah, it is. All right, peace out, guys.